Good morning, everybody. We're doing an unboxing of Tarot in Wonderland. I want to call it Alice in Wonderland because that's the story I know. It's I'm just, it's the same story. Because look, there's the white rabbit, and there's Alice. So let's open this up. This came out in 2018. Everybody said it's a great deck, but it was made really poorly. So they said, you love it, this is a deck you've got to buy at least two of. I have only bought one of them. So we'll see if I love it. I think I will. And, oh, it's one of those nice. I love these boxes. Barbara Moore makes really nice. Well, she, whoever she works with, make these really nice boxes with these great books. Colored books. The only one she didn't make a colored book with, that, which I'm really surprised with, was Chiro Marchetti. The Tarot Royale. Everything was alike except the book was just black and white and not so great. Probably has great information. I was just so disappointed in the book when I touched it. So how to read the introduction, how to read the cards, major arcana, minor arcana, wands, cups, swords, pentacles, spreads, and conclusion. Got the Mad Hatter upside down, being the hangman. Basic spreads the three card. I think you don't do the picture of the cards, you know. You know, a little box. One, two, three. They just put numbers. So this is the falling down the rabbit hole. 12 card spread. Mad tea party. White rabbit stress. So it looks like they got quite a few. I didn't read the things that said about it, but. Looks, I didn't count how many, but it looks like a nice amount. So let's take the cards out and look at them. Here's the backs. So you can definitely tell them which side is up. And which side is when they're reversed. And lots of plastic. Put that over here. Ah, she's got a cat instead of a dog. And she's going to jump down this hole. So she can go into this crazy drug-filled world. A bite this and you get small and this one you get big. So let's take a look. The Magician. Look, he's got a hookah. He's got all his elements, you know. The cup, the pentacles, the wand, the swords. 
Look, he has them even here and up in like a moth of something made out of smoke. Very cool. High Priestess. She has, instead of two just columns, they're the black and the white, but they're made out of chess pieces. And she's got the pomegranates, and Alice sees herself in the mirror as the high priestess, a grown-up high priestess. The empress. Oh, look, the big kitty's licking and cleaning the little kitty. She is dressing the empress. The emperor, he said, I think this is called a dodo bird. And it looks like he's got one of those things you eat that make you big or small. Some of them are potions too. Hierophant, the Cheshire cat is the Hierophant. The lovers. I remember this part part in the movie when I was little. Playing croquet with them. The flamingos. The chariot. Boy, that takes some serious strength. Get the flamingo let you do that. I think they might just bite you. And not let you. Strength. Oh. They are very comfortable with one another. And themselves. The hermit. This is the first time I've seen the hermit on a horse. With a bell. I think he's going off into the forest to find a quiet place to think about things. Get in touch with himself. The wheel of fortune. Oh, this is pretty cool looking. She's running after the white rabbit. But she should stop right here. Because right there, they're on top and the luck is good. Here you go, go down and that, then the bad luck on the bottom. And then you're going to be going, wanting to get back up. Justice. We've got the sword. I do not see the scales. Oh, let's read this. A by the queen, a proclamation. Now know ye that we are. Graciously extending our grace and Mary to grant our free royal pardon. All sentences are to be commuted by Her Majesty's command. Let's see if I can read this one. Okay, this one's the same. The hangman, the mad hatter, what does his hat say? Okay, you can definitely see these are glossy. In this style, 10 slash 6. I don't know what that means. And he's drinking tea upside down. That's uh, going to mess up his perspective when the tea falls in his eyes death I guess in here she's going to have oh the drink me eat me the transformation okay temperance she's balancing these two mushrooms oh she took a tongue out of each side of this mushroom The devil. I guess the rabbit's supposed to be the devil here. I don't know. Are they at the devil's whim? The rabbit's addicted to bread and butter and this Mad Hatter cake and tea. I love the artwork in this. This is fun. This is definitely fun. The tower. This is a great tower, even though it's not a physical building, but everything is just exploding all over the place. We got birds, we got silverware, we got food. The star. 
She's dropped her gloves and her fan. And I guess she's looking in there to get hope and inspiration. Illumination. Ooh, look at this moon card. I love it. The lobster, crawfish, oysters following the walrus and this dude. And here's the wolf and the dog. Looks like it could be two wolves. But that one's supposed to be a dog. The sun. This does look cheery, you know, with the sunflowers. And there's the sun. It's not too bright. They all look comfortable. Judgment. The white rabbit is like a... I guess it's St. Peter who calls you into heaven and you got to have your rebirth up there. But here, this card's for doing it here. But he look, definitely looks like he's up in heaven calling you in. The world. Alice has completed the world. She has completed everything. She's missing her person, her bird, her bull, her lion in the corners. But everything else is just exactly Ryder White Smith. Ace of Wands. Two of Wands. She's out there looking and planning. Three of Wands. The rabbit sees his ships coming in. Oh, look at the four wands. This is a very fun tea party. They are celebrating and having a tea party with these cats. She, oh, she made that tea party really nice. Look, all these nice little daisies on the wands and a nice little scarf up there. Keep the sun from being too harsh. Very nice tea party. Five of wands. They're fighting with wands and Bert, the flamingos. Six of Wands, Triumphant Success. He's got the Laurel Wreath on, which means victory. Ah, Seven of Wands, she's protecting her boundaries here. Back off. This is my boundaries. Do not cross. Oh, look, the Eight of Wands are in like this formation of being a plane or something and flying to their destination. Nine of Wands. He looks a little bit raggedy and tired. He needs a rest, but he doesn't get to go rest. He's got to do more work. He's not only pushing the Ten of Wands on his back, this little hamster or guinea pig. He's also pushing a wheelbarrow full of treats. When you should be putting some down, don't stress yourself out so much. It doesn't have to be all done at once. Or ask for help. That will injure your back and your neck and cause you more stress. Bad sleep. Page wands. Looks like a gecko. Knight of wands. A lion. A male lion on a horse. Very passionate looking. I don't know. Lions, you know, with that male lions with that hair look very passionate. Queen of wands. She looks like the queen of hearts. Yes, she is. And she's got her black cat. Usually she's such a, look, a fun looking person, but she is not fun looking there. King of Wands. He's got a snake flying out of his nose. Or the snake's got kind of these wings. Ace of Cups. Handing them a cup. And they got a teacup in the middle already. Oh, this looks like a partnership. They do not look like lovers. Sometimes it's lovers, but they just look like, ah, we've messed with her mind quite a bit. It wasn't that fun. Three of Cups. Now they look like they are celebrating. Let's dance around, drink, be merry. 
Ooh, four of cups. Look at the dolphin uh, balancing that cup on its nose. It's having fun. This one is trying to get grounded. Is it a turtle or armadillo? The body right here looks like a turtle. Five of cups. She's got conflict there. She needs to get up there. Looks like she wants some more to drink. Six of Cups. Nostalgia. And looks like Alice is giving to the bunny. They're enjoying their time visiting. And look, there's an elephant with wings. That's the thing. This is a, a dream world or a world made from drugs. I don't know. And there's a song about this by Jefferson Airplane. And uh, the woman, Grace Slick, she sings, One pill makes you larger, one pill makes you smaller. Eight of Cups. She's like, okay, this is just not working. Nine of Cups. This caterpillar guy looks pretty satisfied. They're, and all his cups are hookahs. He must really like smoking hookahs. Ten of Cups. They are very happy. This is their family. They're content. Page of Cups. Look, he's brought, the fish has actually brought a literal physical message in this one. We just know him to be bringing a message usually. We don't usually see it like that. That was cool. Knight of Cups. This old man is Prince Charming. He's like Don Quixote. That's what he looks like to me. Queen of Cups. Very full of love. Here's the King of Cups, and he's usually very, you know, willing to listen and give advice, but I don't know. This is Alice in Wonderland, and so he doesn't look so giving and patient and caring. Ace of Swords. Cool Two of Swords. So we've got the typical figure here. We've got the Cheshire Cat's face in the moon. March Dare. Mad Hatter. Is that Dare or Hare? I don't know. I think it, let's say Hare. That would make more sense. Oh, this is a very cool Three of Swords. Instead of inside of a heart, we got a heart cake. But you can see the grief, the rain, the dark clouds, the bareness, the hurt feelings. Four of Swords. He is recuperating, resting. Five of Swords. Looks like she beat up those guys and took their swords. We know she's a mean woman. Six of Swords, leaving troubled waters to get to smooth waters. Ah, Seven of Swords, dishonest, stealing. And he doesn't look very stealthy at it. He's leaving some behind. He's taking his time. He's like, ah, I'm just doing this. Eight of Swords. Ah, oh, she looks miserable. It's not really tied too tight or anything. She can get out of there. She's, it's raining on her. She physically feels miserable. Oh, all she has to do is take a moment, relax, and in her mind, see the situation for what it is. She could just bust her arms against the, those things and break them. 
those bindings. Nightmares. The white rabbit is having nightmares. Ten of swords betrayed. It looks like that the uh, ten of swords here betrayed Humpty Dumpty. It looks like his eggshell. Page of Swords is the White Rabbit. Knight of Swords. <laughs> That's kind of funny. A horse carrying a unicorn on his back. Queen of Swords. I know she's a very pretty queen, but she looks devious here. Her eyes, her mouth, the... Very devious. Here's the King of Swords. He looks like Humpty Dumpty put back together or another one. He's holding the dictionary. Well, Swords, smart. Ace of Pentacles. He's balancing the pentacles. He's chucking them there and couching them. Trying to balance time, money, resources. He's firm on his feet. I'm just not so sure he's so firm with his hands. Three of Pentacles. Teamwork. He, the rabbit's telling her what to do. Or reading the plans. This king is telling her what to do. She's doing. Four of Pentacles. Look at that little mouse. He's so cute. He's like, I'm going to get some of these treats. Yeah, I could see him wanting to hoard all this because, you know, he doesn't get this every day. He's like, grab it all, take it home. He could use it. Five of Pentacles. Look, she actually looks like she wants to go into the church and get help, but this frog dude is keeping her from doing it. She's like, I was almost there. Now I feel so alone again with this horrible frog dude. Six of Pentacles, sharing of resources, exchanging. Alice still looks very worried with these people. Well, they are kind of nuts, you know. Seven of Pentacles, this card guy has harvested, planted the seeds, and look, he's grown a beautiful pentacle tree with roses, pink and red roses. Eight of Pentacles. He has mastered his pentacle drawings. He's working on another one there. He has refined his artwork. Nine of Pentacles. Alice is the Nine of Pentacles. And she's in luxury. She's got a bird here. She's enjoying the pentacle flowers. This beautiful garden. She's earned the relax. Ten of Pentacles. This is her family, her, her resources, her inheritance, her retirement, family money. Look, she's got the grandparents here, her parents here, another family member there, and the cats. So the cat, these little cats could be her children, and this is a cat, cat, uh, pet. I don't know. But she's too young to have a husband. Page of Pentacles. What is that furry thing sticking out of his bag? And there's sandwiches and carrots on the ground. Oh, a pony. Knight of Pentacles is riding a pony. A very Well, you know, the knight's always still. The Knight of Pentacles. He thinks things through. He knows exactly what's going to happen. So he doesn't need a fast pony or horse. Queen of Pentacles. This queen has a Alice doll, a white rabbit pole toy. Oh, she's made everything. And the Mad Hatter is the King of Pentacles. He's like, I've created this. I've made millions and billions off this story. Ah. 
Let's give these a shuffle and pick a card. What does this deck feel like talking to us about? What's its emotion? Very slick. This is the glossy deck. Very slick. So everyone talks about how the pictures uh, peel away. It is a very thin deck. So it would shuffle easily, but the pictures will be peeling off and the backs peel, peeling off. I got the King of Pentacles. This rich dude. Oh, he's on the book. He's on the cover of the book. That's the queen. See, a nice, really nice, full colored page and nice um, material, this paper. So let's read the King of Pentacles Look, through the looking glass. Even though technically the tea party in the, the text takes place in the March Hare's house, most consider the Hatter as a true host. While he likes a bit of wordplay, he is extremely focused on the mat material world. He complains about the butter, the fact that it has crumbs in it. He is very proud of his watch. The March Hare asks Alice if she'll take more tea. She says that since she hasn't had any yet, she can't take more. The Hatter chimes in, you mean you, can t you can't take less? It's very easy to take more than nothing. During the trial of the Knave of Hearts, we learn that he is a tradesperson. When asked to remove his hat, he says that the, it isn't I keep them to sell. I've none of my own. I'm a hatter. As a business person, he understands exchange of goods and resources. Probably though he is most knowledgeable what some may consider the most important resource in our lives, time. Sadly, though, a very traumatic experience at concert, see card 15, the devil, he has learned that time is not to be beaten because there are dire consequences in the end. Though we remember him most as a host offering questionable delights at an endless party. Down the rabbit hole. In the reading of the King of Pentacles is a lover of life and all its pleasures. The barest minimum consists in staying a human body, keeping it alive if not actually thriving. This king knows that whereas bread and water may do, a feast is better. A proper meal can feed all the senses as well as, well as the soul. Abundance is the gift of life, and he intends to accept every good thing life has to offer. To that end, he creates the means to ensure he wants for nothing. However, he is not a hoarder. Time is important, and how he fills that time is even more important. 
The King of Pentacles enriches his enjoyment of the material world by sharing his bounty with friends and family. Although he is generous, he will not be taken advantage of. If you seek his assistance, don't try to pull anything over on him, and don't try to get him interested in a harebrained idea. Instead, show him how your plan benefits his stability and prosperity, and he may just be willing to invest in you. Keep in mind that benefiting his prosperity doesn't necessarily mean monetarily. His enjoyment of life can be increased through good company, time, efficiencies, or material improvements of all sorts. Uh, keywords are authority figure, decision maker, power, experience, prosperous, creations, wealth, values, material world, and beauty and generous and practical. Well, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. This is a very fun deck. It is, you know... You can see so many things in it and just let your magic get run away, run away with it. Well, I hope everybody is taking care of yourselves and being safe and finding ways to move forward while the whole world is on shutdown, that you're keeping yourself motivated and being healthy. And... I hope you liked this deck. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and take care, everybody. Bye.